today I'm going to be doing my August favorites, and even though August, been, August has been a very, very hectic month, it's also been pretty good. Um, definitely, probably one of August 2015 is probably the month where most my life has mostly changed since I moved to California, and now I'm moving back to Europe, so it's definitely been a very, very eventful month. Um, very, a lot of new things, but it's also very exciting. So yeah, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with my favorites for this month. I do have some beauty and fashion, so let's start with the beauty stuff. Okay, my first thing is this mascara, which is the Greater Than MDM Flow Mascara. You guys saw this if you watched my everyday natural um, makeup routine or makeup look. And um, I use this mascara and I really like it. So as you guys heard me talk about in the video, it's incredible. Let me see if the other one really focus. There we go. It's absolutely incredible. Um, it really makes your lashes look like super, makes them look really nice and big and like black, like black obviously if you have um, uh, lighter eyelashes like I do, but it doesn't make them look clumpy or anything at all. It looks so natural, almost like your lashes are just black like to begin with. So that's what I really liked about it and I just loved it for that makeup tutorial and just days where you want to go for a really natural look but still want to look, you know, a little bit more put together. Okay, my next item is this brush, which is from Vesanti. I'm probably saying it wrong. I got it in my BoxyCharm this month, and um, it just looks like this. So basically, it's just a brush that's like for highlighting and stuff. So I've been using it to highlight, and I love it. It's just like the perfect angle for contouring and highlighting. Um, it's just like perfect for right there, which I love about it, and it's really pretty. So yeah, it's so soft, and I've just been loving it for this month. So. I love that. Okay, another thing I have been loving for this month is this eyeshadow from Cargo, which again came in my boxy charm, but it's amazing. Um, so it just looks like this. It's just in like a little silver box, and it's in the color Pasadena, and so it looks like this. And it's just a beautiful rosy pink color, and it's matte, which I love. So this is perfect for those days where you want more pink kind of eye look, and just I just use it in my crease, or you can use it on your lid. And it's just really nice because it's kind of like a nice medium color. It's not too dark, but not too light either. So it's just a really beautiful and natural color that I really, really like. And I've been loving using it this month just for like a natural look. The next thing is a hairspray. So um, I've been wanting to try this hairspray out for a long time because I always like hear people talk about it. So I got it this month actually once I moved here. And it's the L'Oreal um, Elnit Satin Hairspray. It just looks like this, like huge one. And I love this. It doesn't make your hair stiff, which I hate when hairsprays make your hair stiff. Like I want my curls to last, but I don't want my hair to be so stiff. That just sucks. So I have been loving this and the packaging is really pretty. I like the gold a lot um, and it smells really good as well. So that's always a plus. I mean, it's very affordable, so which is very California, um, so yeah, but I did use this a ton in August, um, or like the end of August, beginning, or like end of July, beginning of August, and it's the Sun Bum um, sunscreen, so it looks like this, I live for this packaging, it's gorgeous, but um, it just smells like coconut, which I love, and it's 30 SPF, um, and it's just really nice, and looks like natural, organic, gluten-free, vegan, antioxidant, rich, like all this really good stuff, so I really like it, and it costs just as much as all the other sunscreens basically at the drugstore, uh, or I got it at Target, but yeah, so I was like, why not? I'll try it out, and I really like the packaging, like I said, so I love, I've been, I love this for like the summer and just in general because it was just great for sunscreen. My last beauty item, I'm pretty sure, is these um, makeup cleansing wipes from Nivea, so um, here, or I don't know, I haven't found the Neutrogena ones I usually use here yet, but I actually started using this because my mom bought it and I was like, I ran out, so I was like, I need to use something to take my makeup off with. So I started using this, so they look like this. They're from Nivea, or Nivea, however you say it. And um, oh my god, guys, these are amazing. I'm like so impressed. They're so soft, and when you like use it on your eyes to get like a mascara off and stuff, I usually just go like this. Oh my god, none of my eyelashes come out, and it makes my like my eyes so soft, and it's so gentle, it's incredible. Like, you can just feel how gentle it is on your skin, which I love. And there's barely like any ingredients in it, so it's not really bad for your skin at all. Yeah. So, let's move on to my fashion favorites now. I only have two things. So, my first thing is a pair of sunglasses, they're upside down. Um, you guys probably saw this in my summer clothing haul, if you've watched it. If not, go watch it. Um, I'll link it down below in case you guys want to watch it. But these are my Quay or Key, however you want to pronounce it, sunglasses. So they look like this. Um, I showed them on my Instagram, on in the video, like I said, a ton. 
I've just been loving these for this month. They're so cute and just such like a statement sunglass, but I don't know. I really like them. I just think I, I'm just in love with them. So I've been wearing those a ton and they just really make your outfit look like, you know, totally like even better. So I really like them and I've been wearing them a ton this month, like I've said 50 times, but yeah, so um, they have, Key has, or Koi Key, they have a ton of really cute sunglasses, I would definitely check them out, um, not sponsored at all, I wish I was sponsored by them, um, but they have so many cute sunglasses, so definitely check them out if you haven't yet. So my only clothing, or this is also a fashion favorite for this month, is this dress, which I also showed in my summer clothing haul. Um, it's from Wasteland, uh, but originally from Topshop, so I got it like vintage, thrifted, I don't even know what you want to call it. But it's just this dress, you guys saw it in my haul, um, it's just like a shirt dress kind of thing. This is in silk and I have just been living in this during the summer, um, especially during August while I was here, just because it's so lightweight and it's such a cute dress, it's just like, I love the color of it as well, um, but it's such a cute light dress for summertime and it's just like, kind of like a statement piece as well with the color and stuff and I love that color for, for the spring and summertime, I think it's really cute, so... I've been loving that for this month. I say that about every, everything, but um, it's okay. So now let's go ahead and move on to like my book, my book favorite. It's the fashion book by Faden. Looks like this. My friend Ruth actually got me this for a graduation present. Um, so yeah, I have basically read the whole thing already, but it's just like a ton of pictures of designers and it's like a ton of designers, um, designers, models, and photographers and illustrators. There's all that kind of stuff in fashion, and um, yeah, so there's just like this much like a picture for each designer or illustrator or whatever, and then there's it talks a little bit about them here and like a picture of them. So it's alphabetized, and I just love it. I've been reading this, like I said, I've almost read the whole thing, and it's just like a really fun book to read since I love fashion, and it's also a very pretty like coffee table book you could use it as, so I love um, I loved reading that this month. Okay, I have two movie favorites for um, the month of... August. So my first movie is Movie Vacation, which I went and saw with my parents. It was hilarious. And if you guys didn't know, there is actually a first movie. Um, it's actually the second movie to it. And the same, like, the, the dad in the first movie is actually the grandpa in the second movie, which is pretty cool. So yeah, just some little fox there. Um, the second movie, my second favorite movie of this month, or not second favorite, but my other favorite movie of this month, is The True Cost, and um, which is basically about fashion and how it impacts um, us as like humans and then our environment as well. I have a whole video on that because it's something I really important that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So um, I'll have a link to that video down below in case you guys haven't watched it. Um, but it's really an interesting subject. I'd love to like hear you guys' opinions on it. Um, it's a really important subject as well. So I, it's a really good movie um, and, and it is on Netflix. So you can watch it for free if you want to. I would totally recommend seeing it. I'll link the movie and everything down below like I always do. Um, so yeah. Uh, my series favorite for this month is uh, Gossip Girl. <laughs> I know, like, it's new what's this new show, you know? Yeah, no. Um, I already watched Gossip Girl when it was actually, like, on TV, but um, I had a lot of, like, when I got here to Denmark, um, everyone's already started school, basically, and obviously I don't know that many people here yet, um, because I don't, I haven't even started school yet. I'm starting on Tuesday, and it's Sunday today, so I'm really excited, but haven't started school yet, so... Um, I've had I had a lot of time on my hands while we were waiting for all our stuff to come. I didn't really have much to do. Um, I hung out people sometimes, but mostly during the weekends. So I watched a lot of Gossip Girl, and um, I basically rewatched it. I'm on. I got to. I'm on like I basically finished season two of of it. So that's how far I am. And now I haven't watched in a while, but it's so good. I love that show. Music favorites for this month. So I don't have that many. A ton of people just came out with music um, yesterday, actually, like The Weeknd and Halsey and all these artists, so yeah, but technically um, that's like the end of August, so um, I'm probably going to include that in my September favorites, and I'll tell you guys my favorites for this month. So um, if you guys don't know who Melanie Martinez is, um, I have been playing her in the background of a ton of my videos recently, um, but basically she was on The Voice, I guess, because I actually looked her up because I was really interested because it said she was on The Voice. So she was from The Voice, she didn't win, but she's amazing. So she came out with an album um, in July, I think, like late July, and oh my god, it's so good. Like you guys have to go check her out, I'll, I'll link her down below, um, like I'll link the music like I always do, but oh my god, the album is incredible, like I'm just obsessed with every song. So some of my favorite songs are Sippy Cup by her, uh, by Melanie, Melanie Martinez, and then my other favorite I really, really like is um, Carousel, 
by Melanie Martinez and those are basically like my two <sighs> I really like all of them but I really really like those two so I'll tell you guys those two um, another song I'm really obsessed with is One Time by Marion Hill which is really good. I don't know why I discovered that. I think it on like eight tracks or something random. Um, another song is New Americano by Halsey and um, that came out before her album. Her album just came out like two days ago, but um, this song came out before that. She like released it earlier or whatever. And it's a really good song. I really like it and I'm obsessed with her new album. A little sneak peek. So those are all my music favorites. Not that many for this month, um, but those are all my favorites in general. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys are doing well and um, had a great summer and are excited for school. I don't know if you're excited for school. Can you say that you're excited for school? I mean, maybe you really like it. Um, but I am kind of excited just because it's something very new to me. I really hope you guys enjoyed these. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe or don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Tumblr and Snapchat, all that stuff. I've been on there a ton um, these past few months. So definitely follow me in there for more daily things. Um, and if you guys have any video requests, leave them down below. But I love you guys, and I think that's it for this video, so I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys!